When I'm in nature, I feel happy. I feel alive. I feel safe. I feel like my spirit is rejuvenated. And I see that with my students too when they're out in the forest. A lot of learning takes place inside. It follows a curriculum that can sometimes be restrictive. The first gap that I noticed was students who are really interested in pursuing educational pathways or career opportunities in the outdoor fields. They just didn't know where to go or who to ask. And then the other gap that is really critical, there is a huge equity gap in access for BIPOC people, including students and our children in Minnesota, in access to nature and outdoor spaces. Global and Cultural Studies 1970, Environmental Justice and Nature Immersion is an eight week college class and it brings together high school students from six different districts and college students from North Hennepin Community College, which is in Brooklyn Park. We take students up to spend five days of immersive learning up at Camp Northern Lights and then they also get to experience nature. One young man said at the end of our time at camp, you know, I really want to know what I want to do with my life now. I feel like I have a sense of purpose. Several of them have taken internship roles at Three Rivers. And then I have two students who have been in internship roles with a project on solar equity in Minnesota. For me, it was really important that this program be free for students. One of the things that I really wanted to do was remove any barriers in access and cost is always an issue. And it's really expensive to go and visit Northern Minnesota and stay at a camp. The partners in this work, the YMCA and Three Rivers and other partners have been really generous, donating staff, time, giving us fee reductions. And then several granting organizations have supported the program in year one. But long term, it would be really nice to have somebody who would support the program in an ongoing way. Every person has a particular skill or a particular gift. Some people can contribute time, some people can contribute money, some people can contribute their expertise, some people could contribute food, because students like to eat. <laughs> so I think there's lots of different ways and it just depends on what you have to give.